mind you, today is Sunday and I'm going to my job and I have some good stuff. Basically, this is my video vlog. Uh, I have problems with my car recently. I bought this car just, um, I bought this car last year uh, with my boyfriend and we're paying half. I pay in half, he's paying half and we have been doing it very good uh, so I know I'm having problems with my car especially when I go into a cellar it starts to drag so and I have the engine light on so he called the car dealership and at least we this car is covered so any problems serious to even less severe than that uh, it's going to be less it's, it's going to be covered so that means that we're not going to put any cents in paying it for its service so anyway I paid what did I say I paid I, I played uh, Tropical 5 Friday night and I played it on Sunday morning and I broadcast it on Twitch and it feels very uh, bland in terms of I cannot put the music on because otherwise I'm going to be flagged on YouTube and otherwise I my content is going to be signing on Twitch and here's why it pisses me off the most one of the assignments of uh, pro promoting a video game is just the more music. People have been interested in the gameplay and in the plot and the graphics. But if it don't have any music in there, the game is really gonna lie. And Pro Tropical 5, not only Tropical 5, but in a variety of video games like Need for Speed 2015, The Crew, um, so, uh, and even Arcania. And this game is pretty old. This this game is from the early um, 2000s, and it's I have been, you know, flagged for copyright infringement because of the content that I play in especially in the music and it's not my fault that's why when I'm going to play video games and when I'm going to podcast I make sure that the music is off the soundtrack of the music is off I didn't have any problems with uh, Dragon Age Inquisition even though I have a soundtrack and I put it on but in other cases, uh, like racing car games or even IPD, first person shooter, I encounter that and I'm trying to eliminate or turn down the music, turn it off to the point that all they're going to receive is just the Effect, the, the sound effects or the ambient effects and it doesn't look right for a video game to be promoted that way but Nintendo got it worse that's another story the thing is that the copyright infringement have to go in terms that we are basically doing our best to give a great content to you guys and we're being squished because we are little we are not like all oh, the biggest of the bunch like Markiplier like PewDiePie and others we are starting some people are starting and some people have been like let go of the content because it's too much so what type of content should we put there that's what I understand. That's why I just want to ask. Seems, seems to me that they are like supporting the big companies but not supporting us as, a, as the creators. We are calling the creators for a reason. And if they keep doing that, I 
there's gonna be people who are going to go for other venues because of that they just want to get their 15 minutes of fame but without the copyright infringement or the content ID system that you do go Google and you do put it in place it will be a little bit much better but with it it is a pain in the ass so anyway don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube don't forget to subscribe on my Twitch and please please contribute I I really I don't know where I'm standing but I just hope that you guys can support me please it's like a bowling contest whatever get the most popularity you can win so anyway thank you for watching this small thing see you later have a nice day Bye.